I'm here with Faker on stage to talk about that victory over the LPL squad here. And first things first, I've got to ask you about this very interesting Ari build that came out with the Proto Belt into the Litzbane. What was the thinking behind that? 우선 LPL 상대로 승리가 거슬려 축하드립니다. 첫 번째 질문으로는 아리로 되게 특이한 이제 마법 공화 벨트 이후에 리치베인 빌드를 선보이셨는데 그 빌드에 대해서 말씀해 주세요. 어, 딱히 좋은 빌드 같진 않은데 제가 좀 많이 하고 있는데 어, 그 벨트로 체력을 좀 올리고 리치베인으로 만화를 채워서 어, 뭔가 좀 밸런스가 맞는다고 생각을 해서 좀 자주 가고 있어요. 네. Uh, I don't think it's a more common build. It's... But I personally like to use it a lot. I, through the prototype belt, I try to get more HP, and through the Lich Bane, I get to balance out with more mana. So it's my own favorite build. I like it. A little bit of innovation, and here on the All Star stage, you have some room to play a little bit. Next, I want to talk about the 1v1 tournament. Unfortunately, you did get defeated by Mata in the 1v1 between Yasuos. First of all, was that an agreed upon matchup? And then, will you be rooting for Mata further down the line, even though he's on Team Ice, because he took you down? 1대1 매치 돼서 여쭤보고 싶은데요. 마타 선수랑 야소 미러전이 사전에 얘기가 된 부분인지 그리고 이제 비록 지셨지만 이제 본인을 이긴 상대로서 마타 선수를 추후 1대1 대회에서 응원할 마음이 있으신지 말씀해 주세요. 어, 뭐 야소 1대1을 일단 하자고 하긴 했고요. 어, 뭐 그렇 그리고 또 1대1을 진게좀 오늘 약간 어, 뭔가 질것 같았는데 딱 지더라고요. 그래서 좀 많이 아쉬웠고 뭐 마타 선수를 응원하기보다는 저는 그냥 좀 so it was pre-arranged the Yasuo mirror match, but actually coming today I had a kind of bad feeling for against that one v one match, and the result was pretty bad. And rather than rooting for Mata himself, I just plan to enjoy the one v one tournament as in as a whole. Absolutely. All right. And then, of course, being on this stage, you heard it earlier when you walked out for the 1v1s. The only person who's getting cheered for as loud as you are is Xpeke, and this is where he's from. So I want to know what it's like to, you know, to be welcomed as a superstar everywhere that you go. The Pekon Suji, 1대1 대회 입장하실 때 느끼셨겠지만 정말 엄청난 환호를 받았습니다. 이 현재 이 현장에서 Pekon 수만큼 환호를 받는 선수는 여기 스페인 국적의 Xpekon 수 뿐인데요. 이렇게 국제 대회에서 슈퍼스타로 팬들에게 환영받는 그 느낌이 어떤지 말씀해 주세요. 어 정말 만족스럽죠. 그리고 또 이제 그런 환호성을 계속 유지해야겠다는 생각이 계속 되고 또뭐어 많은 선수들 중에 제가 가장 많이 환호를 받는다는 거에 많이 자부심을 느끼고 있어요. Of course, I'm very satisfied with the home crowd fan cheers, and I hope I can maintain this my status as a superstar. And and also, I just I I feel very proud to achieve such um cheer from the from the crowd among these superstars. Absolutely, and you deserved all of these uh, accommodations and the cheers from the crowd. Final question here, looking towards the LCK season. A lot of people have been looking at the new KT roster as kind of a Korean super team, but yet you guys have picked up some star players like Peanut. So how do you kind of uh, look at the both of these rosters and expect that season to go? I want to ask the LCK season. Many people are the super team of the KT roster team. The SKT team is also the SKT team. 그리고 후니, 후니 선수와 같은 이제 스타들을 영입하면서 한번더 강력한 로스를 구축했는데 내년 시즌에서 KT 로스터와 SKT 팀 간의 슈퍼 팀 간의 대결을 어떻게 전망하시나요? 음. 어, KT가 확실히 이제 좀 강력한 선수들을 영입하면서 좀 어려운 경기가 어, 좀 많이 나올 것 같은데 뭐 그렇지만 좀 저희 팀도 이제 강력한 선수들도 영입했고 또 어, 이제 앞으로 남은 기간 동안 어떻게 연습하느냐에 따라서 I agree that KT Roaster become a very strong team by recruiting a lot of strong players, but and it's going to be a very difficult matchup. But we also strengthen our roster th during the off season, so I think it's going to depend on which team prepares better during the off season. All right, well, we look forward to that one. But before we get there, we've got a few more days of All Stars, so we look forward to seeing you play throughout the rest of the week. Faker, one more time, thank you so much for the interview and Homan, of course, on the translations. Now it's time to throw it back to the desk to close out the day. Thank you.